like I say, yes, basically I hired enough people or surrounded, well, pretty much I led people and I, sh and I showed people how, to, what to say, what not to say, how to appear to be a good person and how to do everything. And basically had teams of people basically making certain people look good so they could effectively lead groups in my absence or something like that. And basically more really it was based on my invention and basically just people doing as I desired as they should do because it leads to bigger and epic things, basically. And I really don't care anymore, like I said, but I taught people how to read scripts pretty much. I taught people how to look good, how to appear to be good on camera. You know, that was me and a bunch of other people and mostly probably just me. I don't really care anymore. Like I was an epic leader. The epic Lucifer star. The creator. Technically, I wasn't even a human. I was just that powerful, and then I was just that good at leading people. And it doesn't really matter. Enjoy your existence, like I say. But I am the one who led Germany. I am the one who led Russia and other places. And through my inventing and my people, basically, great things did become and happen. Despite what everyone else says about how I went bankrupt and everything else, it was quite the opposite. My ships were super efficient, my people were super happy, and everything worked exactly as I thought it would. And basically, I would, mostly because of the fact that I was more. I was real. My name actually meant something. Unlike other people's name. Who's Bill Gates? Who's Zachary? No one. Who's, who's George W.? Bush. No one. George Washington Bush, you mean? Or some shit like that? No one. Washington was nothing. It was a town. And not even that. They made actual real washing machines. So, anyway, I don't really care. There's all these people f fakely running around, pretending to have money, pretending to have, have something, and just abusing the financial system, which is basically you can print money and therefore you're rich. I'm technically the most rich person, the most real person, as I actually invented mining and mining equipment and had that many people working for me and other life forms. So anyway, a bunch of people decided to lie and basically submerge me and pretty much just about 3,000 or 6,000 people running around being stupid fucking idiots around me. Basically just using scripts and lying and yeah, they could use a spreadsheet. They could type into account that basically made them look like they're one billion zeros behind, behind their name. Ooh, wow. They really weren't that rich. Anyway, just only on a computer. It's kind of like writing, uh, writing in your name and putting a bunch of zeros behind it. It has no real value to you. You can try and buy stuff from someone, but that's only if they're willing to accept the fact that you actually own something. But then there's actually really owning something and actually really naming something. And that's if you who uh, and that and that goes to whoever actually builds it. I actually really did have that much money, and I really actually did have that much metal and that much steel and that many ships where I could actually do things. Unlike a bunch of other people who could just raid my ships and basically pretty much hold a gun to my ship captains. Which didn't really work out too well. Or try and hijack my ships. Which actually didn't work out very well. Like I said, JFK, Nixon, all of them just basically cut, cut and splice my videos. My films of my epic tests. Testing out ships and basically the, the lines of ships that were basically the White Star Line fleet. Ships I had painted because I had that much white paint. Because I was the inventor of it. I was the one who funded it. And so we used it a lot. And besides, it's the silver star, white star, line. So anyway, that's why all my white ships and everything else. Everything else is just made up stories and whatever. And I don't really care. It's just twisting facts and twisting history. Basically saying, yeah, my great forefather, or George Washington, planted this, made this, this town 986 years ago. There's no real factual evidence other than what I say and six other people say. Yeah. And pretty much a bunch of people went around doing that, including Bill Gates, which really is Zachary. So like I say, just a bunch of lies, a bunch of people lying in, inside, in, inside of the countries, inside my very real America. And whatever. And basically just using my White House. And whatever. You know, it's not one country under, under God. It's basically pretty much the country that's trying to kidnap and kill God, Lucifer.
star me. So anyway, I don't really care. In time of famine and death, and when, and when nuclear bombs were, when nuclear missiles were actually going to be launched, I stopped it. And other people stopped it. And whatever, I don't really know, and I don't really don't care. Go ask them about how they saved the world and everything else. I just invented the better wing and also car engines. I don't care about anything. Like, give me a gun, I'll shoot myself in the head today. I'm 100 trillion years old. I said it before that, enjoy your existence. I don't give a fuck. Everything that they are is fake. 